All right. I'm going to talk a little bit about liquid culture. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to make your modified lids for these jars. And... Uh, Not difficult at all. I will need any drill, some drill bits. For these smaller injection ports, I use a quarter inch drill. And for these smaller filters, this it's worn out, I think it's a 532, but the way I figured out which one to use was I just eyeballed it like that, put it on top, and then I tested it in any old piece of plastic that you're gonna, you can throw away, of course. So I'm going to show you how to test it. Let's start with, the, uh, with this. Let's say I still didn't know what size I needed to use and I eyeballed it and I thought it was a one quarter inch don't drill through your finger take your time clean up the little plastic bits and now Take this thing, poke it through. Press and then you pull on the other side. Just pinch it and pull. And that's it, it's perfect. So now I know a quarter of an inch is good for this. Um, same thing for the other one. Say I eyeballed it, and I think it's a good size. You can't go too big because you probably can't tell, but it has a little divot like that. This straw-looking piece, this little cylinder, has a little divot, and that clicks into the hole if you do it right keeps it in place you don't have to glue or anything so let's say we want to test this drill bit come here don't throw your finger that's it we press it in and you can feel when it clicks and it doesn't want to go any further a little space there. It's that easy. Um, so then this you can just pull off. Same with the uh, filter. Now think about uh, jars. You can get any old jar, but I've found if you go with the best brand, Ball is the best. Um, the jars are, feel stronger, um, and the lids screw much tighter and they never leak. These cheapo jars and lids, I'm never buying these lids again because look, these need a uh, silicone o-ring, and these are just they have a plastic lip. Well, believe it or not, the plastic lip seals way better than this O-ring. And you remember, we're putting this under pressure, under tons, tons of heat, so it's not, it's not good. But I'm gonna use this to demonstrate. Um, the best way to make a hole in this thing is to put it 
put the lid on the jar. We're going to make another quarter inch hole for another uh, self-healing injection port. Let's say that I'm going to use this for, because you can use the same jars for grain, grain spawn, as well as liquid culture. But if you're going to use it for liquid culture, you may want to have more than one injection port. That's it. So then you can scrape off the piece of plastic a bit if you want. It's not a big deal. Won't hurt anything. Then again, you press it in and pull on the other side. Plastic is thicker, so it feels a bit tighter. And when you press, press right in the middle of it. And see, it's kind of wonky. We don't want that. We want to pull on it. There we go. Pull on it. Look how pretty that looks. Perfect. So we have another one here. Same deal. That's it. Now I want you to notice if when I put this in, don't push on this side. Always push on the top. Because you don't want to put stress on that. Put it in there, press. Snapped. Snap right into place. a bit at an angle but it snapped so I don't care and this is really I'm pressing here it does not want to come out I have to use pliers to pull it off of another jar just to, to of another lid just to do this demonstration um and that's it you can make more holes and put more of these like here let's say um Oh, very important, these you can use glass beads, uh, glass is good, these are not really uh, marbles, they're like flat, they're decoration, so you put one or two in there, and I'm going to show you how to make your liquid culture later, you want this in there so it helps mix it and break it apart, the mycelium. So you would put that on, put this on, and pressure cook your liquid culture in here with the aluminum foil on top. I'm going to show you that in another video because this is getting long. Um, one other thing is, let's say that you don't have these filters. You can... You should have the injection ports. You can get all this from Amazon. They're, they're not expensive. I recommend you, you use them. You can make a quarter inch hole instead of this small one. Let me make a quarter inch hole here. And then get some handy dandy micropore tape, which we know and love. And put a double layer, get it more centered. Double layer of Micropore tape, rear hole, if you don't want to spend the money. Now, why are the other ones better? 
these, the ones that I have on my list, if you order them from anywhere, make sure they say hydrophobic, which means, phobic means want to run away from. So the hydrophobic ones will not get wet, literally. These get wet. So if you have liquid culture in there, of course liquid, when you mix it and stuff, this gets wet. Um, they work fine, but uh, I'd rather have something that doesn't get wet. These have been working great for me. You spend the money once, you can use them over and over. But this is another alternative. You can also, instead of this, you can use ATV, which is high temperature uh, uh, gasket glue. And you put a dab in there, a uh, finger or a little wet um, uh, paper towel. You flatten it and then you can use that as a self-healing injection port. Cheaper, but you have to wait for it to, to cure. Messy, again. This with the uh, gasket glue works great. Uh, cheaper way to do it. Um, this to me is the preferred method. Now we would go on to the next step, which is actually making the liquid culture.